Okay guys, welcome back. My name again is Steve Potts and this is part two of the Camtasia animation tutorial Halloween special where we show you how I created the little video clip that you just saw as the intro of this video. Right, so in video one what we did is we gathered and or created some of the materials we need to create this video clip. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to put it all together. So what I need you to do is import all of those um, video clip and the, uh, the text and the audio, import it all into a new project and then what we're going to do is get started from there. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is we want to bring in the video clip and put that on the timeline here and um, what we're going to do now is go look for the actual hello music okay that's the the background music okay i might want to just add an additional layer over here what we're going to do is because the music is a little shorter we're going to make two tracks and then overlap them now usually what i do is I simply fade one in and fade the other one out. And then what I do is I line up the fade in and fade out section. And so that way when you play it, you can't actually tell that there is a split between the two. Okay, now to make things a little easier, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group these two together. So that way they'll stay where they are. And we'll bring our video track down again. Okay, so now we've got our background music. Okay, so the next step, what we want to do here is we want to have a look at where the actual lightning strikes take and then add the thunder sound effect to where this actually takes place. Okay, so bring down uh, one of the sound effects. Now you'll see we have four lightning bolts and four different sound effects that way a lightning doesn't uh, you know always sound exactly the same it gives a little bit more of a realistic approach to it you can pick whichever one you think sounds best for you okay so what you want to do here is you want to basically go to the exact point where the lightning first strikes okay I right, go right there so what are we going to do now is line up the sound with that so when we play it now the sound and the lightning work together. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to line up each lightning strike with a thunder sound, right, until you have all four of them done. Okay, so having matched up the four sound effects to the four visual effects, we play through it and we see what it actually looks and sounds like. Okay, so the next step is going to be to have that word Halloween come in and my personal choice here is to have it come in on the second lightning strike. All right, so what we're going to do is just place it in, size it so that it fits and then what we want to do here is make sure it comes in at the exact moment that the lightning strike goes. So now of course on the timeline here we have the sound that we can use to line it up because we can actually see the sound waves right over here. So go ahead and put the word Halloween in there to make it even more of an effect. What we want to do is we want to put that ripple effect transition right in the beginning here. So now when you actually play it, you will see that the word Halloween sort of looks like it pops on the screen as a result of that lightning strike. All right, so for the rest of the text that I want to use on this little intro here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use callouts. So just click on callouts and then click on uh, making sure the callout is text. And then type in the verbiage that you want to put here. In my case, what I'm going to put here is just welcome to our, because obviously the next thing that's going to happen is say Halloween, right? So welcome to our Halloween. And I just size it to make sure it looks cool. Right, and then uh, what you want to do is just put all the additional text that you want to use. Obviously, you can do whatever you want there, but just put them in as uh, callouts and then line them up 
so that they come in with the actual lightning strikes again, okay? So go ahead and do that for all three of the additional lightning bolts. Okay, so you get all your text in place and then you just play through it and make sure again that everything lines up and that it looks, you know, respectable. This is going to be a nice little intro to whatever Halloween themed video you want to make. And I like the way mine looks at the moment. Of course, you can make changes to yours if you want. Okay, so that pretty much does the intro. So now you'll notice that the video clip I gave you is actually one minute long, which is a lot longer than you really need, right? So what you can do is you can actually split this video track and then use the latter half of it for an outro. You know, where you can maybe put things like um, follow me or subscribe or put your social media links or something like that there. And we'll play through this one more time just to make sure it looks cool. And then pretty much, guys, I'm going to leave you here. Now, my name again is Steve Potts. And I just want to say thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end. Okay, so thumbs up for you for watching it. And I hope you guys have fun with us, man. And have a great day. I'll see you all in the next tutorial.